Hey guys, Minister Mishkin here. I picked up an overwhelming amount of stuff this week, so let's get started right away. Guy contacted me with the Super Nintendo, two controllers, and Super Mario World. We settled on $15, but I think I shot myself in the foot a little bit with the rest of the deal. He brought some stuff and I quickly settled on $30 with him. $15 for the system, the two controllers, and Super Mario World is superb, but the second part of the deal that I did with him I don't think is as good as it could have been. So here's the system, two controllers, well, you know I got Super Mario World with the system. And then the second half of the deal was Super Slam, Dunk, Wario Woods, and Donkey Kong Country 2. I also managed to get him to throw in a GameCube power adapter, which I knew a friend needed. $15 additional for those games and the power adapter. A good deal, but I think I should have just stayed with the $15 for the system, the two controllers, and Super Mario World. I guess my mom had mentioned to a some people at work that I collect video games, so a lady at work actually gave this stuff to my mom and I got it for free. Great pickup, anything for free is always appreciated. An Orange Spice official GameCube controller, in good condition, both joysticks still there. Third party GameCube controller, PlayStation 1 controller, an e-reader, I actually recently found my e-reader cards, but I can't find my e-reader, so I really needed this. A rumble pack for the N64, a cable for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, actually, it's, a, it's to connect to the GameCube, the Game Boy Advance to the GameCube, which I'll actually mention a game that uses this later in the video. Had a nice GameCube haul on the Facebook group. I paid $75 for everything. Unfortunately, a few things aren't working. I'll explain that to you, and I'll show you what games are working and what games aren't. Donkey Kong Bongos, Donkey Konga Edition. This is cool. I have the Bongos box, but I don't have the ones for the Donkey Konga edition like this, so I'll probably be keeping this. Platinum GameCube, claim with all the cords, as you can see on the bottom here. This is the Game Boy Advance player. This is a big deal because this is not the expensive part. I'll show you the expensive part in a second. Came with this disc. Now this is the startup disc for this player. If you want to play Game Boy Advance games on your GameCube, you have to have this disc. This player goes for about 10 bucks and it's not that easy to sell. This disc goes for 40 or so dollars and is an easy sell all day because everybody wants this disc. A big jumbled mess of cords. In it I have the four controllers that came with it. I have a Mad Cats controller. Platinum controller that works well, has both joysticks. A black that works well but the left joystick needs a replacement. And then another platinum that works well and does not need any replacement joysticks. It also came with a microphone, the power adapter, and the AV cords. So here are the games that came with it. These all work. Cars, Super Mario Strikers, Sonic Gems, Sonic Riders, Animal Crossing, Shark Tale, Finding Nemo, Donkey Konga, Sonic Heroes, Harry Potter, SeaWorld, Namco Museum, TAC-2, LEGO Star Wars, Crash, Nitro Kart, and here are the games I can't get to work. And unfortunately, these are a lot of the ones I wanted to keep. Here's an extra copy of Donkey Kong I got. This will not work. Super Mario Baseball, I needed this one for my collection. Pretty disappointed it won't work. Super Smash Bros. Melee and Cabela's. Melee not working is a huge deal. That's 30 or $35 down the drain. Some game store finds. I picked up all these for $50 total. Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures, this is complete. Nowadays this is a pretty pricey game, $35 or $40 complete. I decided to bite the bullet and pick it up, this cost me $22.95. I had it before but I sold it, wanted to pick it back up to complete my Zelda GameCube collection. Fighting Vipers, needs a replacement case but for eight bucks I couldn't pass it up. I've been looking for, for Saturn Fighters and this is one I wanted. Battle Arena, Toshinden. It was $4.95 and the case was pretty good and it's a fighting game so I thought I'd pick it up. I watched the YouTube videos, this game looks atrocious. Street Fighter Alpha, this one was a little pricey, it cost me $15 but I love these games. Absolutely wanted to own it for my Sega Saturn collection. And lastly, this Sega Saturn game was a trade with Ken 16-bit, thank you very much. Just a couple of cracks in the case but Shinobi Legions is not an easy game to find and it's a good one and it's pretty much a must have for the Sega Saturn. Thanks Ken and I, I hope we can do more trades in the future. And we have another huge GameCube haul. Picked up a GameCube system, came with two controllers, one black and one Wavebird. Came with all the cords and one of these GameCube game holders, which I already had one of, but I could definitely use two. Came with a couple of memory cards. Some more drums, I need to sell these things. And let's go through the list of games he sold me. 
Huge, huge amount of games. By the way, I paid $100 for everything. Everything's complete in box with the exception of Super Mario Sunshine, I believe. So I picked up Super Mario Sunshine, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Simpsons Hit and Run, Soul Calibur 2, Mad No 8, which is tough game to find for the GameCube, Smuggler's Run, Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2, Dark Summit, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, 18 Wheeler, Metroid Prime, Medal of Honor Europe, SSX Tricky, Marvel Nemesis, NFL Street, Swingers Golf, Donkey Konga 2, Star Wars 2, well, Lego Star Wars 2, Tony Hawk Underground 2, Def Jam Vendetta, Enter the Matrix, Die Hard, Spy Hunter, Barnyard, Rogue Ops, Madden 07, Reckless, Madden 2004, Need for Speed Underground 2, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters, 1080 Avalanche, Starsky and Hutch, Smashing Drive, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, Shrek Super Slam, and Lord of the Rings. So as you can tell, I picked up a huge amount of GameCube games in that lot and a ton of GameCube games just in the last couple of weeks. Biggest problem with the GameCube games is that a lot of them just don't work. Now I had five or six of them not work in the past lot I just showed you, including Mario Sunshine. But after I tested them on my Wii, they all worked. So I'm assuming the Wii has a stronger laser or something. But make sure to look into that. If you can't get them to work on your GameCube, at least try to, to see if they work on your Wii. Thanks guys for watching. I have my work cut out for me as far as finding room for all the stuff I picked up this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for my next week's episode.